We are now more than halfway through our 30 GIMP tutorials in 30 days. This is day 17 and today I have another fantastic technique for styling your images, this time with a pastel tone. And I have a couple of other new tips and tricks coming your way too. So if you're ready to discover this editing style, well, let's do it. Well, let's start off our edit like we always do by duplicating the original image layer to begin working non-destructively. The first thing I want to do is warm up this image just a little bit. So I'm going to go up here to colors and select color temperature and I'm going to adjust the original temperature here to the left to make it a little bit warmer. So maybe right about there. That looks pretty good. Next, I want to increase the brightness of the shadows so that the color tints that we apply are visible more so in the shadows. So let's go up to colors again and I'm going to choose shadows highlights and then I can increase the brightness levels of those shadows by adjusting this to the right. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to duplicate this layer again. I'm going to double click here to rename this so I can remember what this edit was all about. So we did exposure adjustments plus white balance. So this one is going to be tone curve because we're going to use our tone curve to apply our colors in the image. So we're going to go up to colors, select curves. And I love using the curves tool because it allows you to place your edits exactly where you want them in the tonal range of your image. So we have our shadows on the left, midtones in the middle and highlights on the right. And then we can manipulate this line or bend it to apply the edit within that tonal range. We also have our white point up here and our black point down here if you need to make adjustments to that as well. Now for this particular edit, what we're going to do is target two specific color channels to get the soft pastel color that I want to apply. And the edit we apply is also going to enhance the fall light colors that are already visible inside of the trees here. We're just going to enhance that a little bit more. So let's go up to our channel here and select red for the value. Now, if I click and drag this up, it's going to add more red. If I drag it down, it's going to remove red. So what it's doing right now is it's applying this edit from the shadows all the way to the highlights. It's not really affecting the white point or the black points. You would have to adjust these to the right or up to adjust the black points and then left and down to adjust the white points. So that's a little bit too intense. I want to bring this down to right about there and I want to target more color in the shadows. So I'm going to click and drag this up and bend that line this way to increase the color in the shadows. Let's take a look at the before and after and you can definitely see the shadows have more red than they did before and the highlights have a little bit more and it's not as noticeable and that's fine because that's what I want for this particular edit. You can adjust this line according to your own creative vision but we're not done yet. I want to add another color adjustment. So I'm going to come in here and choose blue and I want to kind of mimic that line that I created before add a little bit of blue into it so it has a more cinematic feel to it but it still has that pastel effect applied to it as well but we're going to enhance that effect a little bit more so let's go ahead and click OK. We're going to create a new layer called color. We want to fill it in with the foreground color which I have selected already. I have this light pink color because this is the pastel color that I want to use for my color tint. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Fill with foreground. Click OK. And now we need to go up to mode and choose our blending mode of choice. So let's try overlay. I'm not sure I like that one so I'm going to try a different one. Maybe soft light. That looks a little bit better. It's a little bit too intense still so I'm going to go ahead and drop the opacity down just a little bit to get my final pastel edit. Now that you know how to create a pastel like effect in GIMP, check out that playlist to your left to learn more about 
editing, retouching, and styling your images in GIMP. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.